store in Salt Lake City. Great stuff. Time to check in with Big Buddha right now at Mill Creek Cacao. He's got chocolate stuff going on there because, you know, they take it from the real seeds from Ecuador and then they break it down into something that's more edible for us, B. Yeah. And so we're in the second part of the process, Dan. So after we sort through the beans, they've already been roasted, and we're now at this point of the process. Now, what, where are we at, Mark? We want to get rid of the shell because the shell is bitter. We just want to keep the nib. That's the uh, really tasty part of the cacao. Okay. Okay, so we put it in this breaker over here, and it breaks up the, uh, the shell and the nib into this bucket. I'll just show you. Stand back is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Now, now, Dan, see, we're in America where we use modern machinery. In Samoa, we use our hands to do this. That's why, that's why our hands are brown. <laughs> because we do this all day long. Uh-huh. Yeah. It just gets all you know over that you. Cocoa, you know that cocoa that you drink? I made that cocoa with my Thank hands. Thank you, B. Thank you very yeah. much. I love cocoa. <laughs> Turned it into powder. <laughs> what Big Buddha's talking about is now we got a mixture of shell and nib in Samoa. Samoa. They, by hand. They take it. They take this shell out by hand. <laughs> but we don't do that here. Okay. Um, I mean, someday we'll try. Would you like the job? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Were you maybe. Maybe I might have to go back to my roots and work here. All right. So then you separate it, right? So now that it's crushed, you separate them. Yeah, we winnow, we winnow it out. Okay. And so this machine does that. Yeah, it does that. And what it, we end up with is just the pure nib. And that's really tasty. That's uh, that's pure chocolate right that's there. Pure chocolate. Yeah. Really. Mm. Oh, that's good. All right. Now, now, now they do something here differently because they don't want not that American chocolate is bad, but they want a richer, thicker, deeper chocolate. And how do you do that? Creamier. Uh, we add uh, cocoa butter from the same source that we get our beans from, from Ecuador. Right. Now it already has cocoa butter in it, right? Well, Naturally. Half the nib is cocoa butter. Okay. Fifty percent already. That's why when you add heat and pressure, as you see in the stone grinder, that nib was poured in here yesterday and now it's a liquid. Uh, again, Dan, we're using modern machinery. Imagine little kids in Samoa using rocks on rocks, putting the and just smashing it like that. That's what we used to do. Why don't we have one of these in Samoa? That's what I'm saying. Much easier. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. This, this was this was designed in India, but <laughs> <laughs> now you're adding you're adding more cocoa butter to your recipe. To, to, well, why is, is that? Is that European chocolate style? Well, that adds it's a creamier uh, mouthfeel when gotcha. you when you taste it. That's what we want to do. We don't add too much more cocoa butter, but we add enough to make it uh, taste richer and bring out the flavors of the cacao we, that are already there. And people really seem to enjoy that. And Dan, well, this is not a normal process to have a camera uh, while they're in production. So they're going to put two bees on the back of these chocolate bars so that way they have a disclaimer if it does taste awful and it's not up to their standards they can just blame me you see how that That's, works they're gonna, i have not even touched it they're gonna put it in the oven and mark it with a b it's a big boot yeah it's the big boot of batch yeah because it's not the a batch dan it's the b I'll batch take it. the b batch yeah i won't scrutinize we'll it i'll we're just gonna eat it we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna move on to the next step of the process all right now it's getting in there so we'll be back with more milk creek cacao bye guys all right see ya can't do that bad, right? Uh, we need it.